The honor system overlooks case processing, remediation, and education of honor for the cadet wing. And it's important because it really instills in us the core values necessary to be officers of character. My name is Cadet First Class Kelly Nugent, and I'm the wing honor chairman for the class of 2022 here at the Air Force Academy. My name is CONC Jack Calkins. I'm the honor education chair. I'm Cadet First Class Bella Cole Andrea. I'm the Wing Honor Remediation Officer. I'm Cadet Second Class Juliana McKeon, and I'm the Wing Honor Chair for the Class of 2023. Following the spring of 2020, um, we realized that there was clearly um, a problem with the culture and um, how cadets viewed honor. So we underwent several teams and processes to figure out how we could do this better. Um, ultimately, we came to the conclusion that we can process the cases better, um, more quickly and efficiently, and things of that nature, but also, most importantly, redoing how we do honor education to make it more developmental for the fourth class cadets. Honor education starts as a four degree when you're in basic training. We front-loaded all the honor education lessons for how the system works, what constitutes an honor violation, how do I have to live as a cadet, into basic training so they understand where they're coming from and what they're getting themselves into. Changing how we do honor education throughout BCT to make all the honor lessons front-loaded um, so when they take the oath on acceptance day, they know what they're getting into. And then the continued journaling throughout the entire fourth class year from A day until recognition um, hopefully helps the four degrees internalize honor and really know what it means to be an officer of character. After that, we do four lessons per year for the upper classes that try to facilitate uh, discussion on honor topics to emphasize that we're not done living with integrity, and we never will be. What happens when we get an honor case is we turn it over to the group, um, honor representatives first, to kind of go through the investigation of the case. And then once that step is complete, it will go to a board, which I or another wing representative will sit with a squadron representative and the group representative that was in charge of kind of like going through that case and figuring everything out. And then once that's complete, it's usually either turned over to the remediation team or to the other authorities. <laughs> So as the remediation officer, I oversee everybody who goes through the honor remediation process who basically is on probation or honor probation at the academy. I see it as a chance to admit to the mistakes you've made and also develop into a better person and understand what leader of character means. I definitely came into the this job when we were having a little bit of an interesting time with the honor system. Post spring 2020, we had obviously a big it was called into question the way the cadets view the honor code and the honor system. So I think that it's just kind of been a process of trying to make positive change in the way that people view it. Success in the honor system is really hard to measure because really there's only the negatives, right? If you violate the honor code, that's your metric. As we have this many cases, this many people who violate the honor code or, or denied violating the honor code. Success looks like low cases, but also low rumors in the cadet wing. Not a lot of people talking about cheating. Not a lot of professors saying, oh, look at this data we got on this day from this test. If you don't have that, it seems like people are, are at least meeting the baseline. I think it's hard to sometimes see as a cadet why the honor code is applicable or why it's a good thing other than cheating or stuff like that. So I think once you get into the operational Air Force, you're actually gonna be in situations where you're gonna be signing off on paperwork that affects another person's life or you're gonna be in a situation where you know somebody has done something that could affect the lives of others. And I think as a cadet, sometimes it's hard to place yourself in those positions. Um, but if you're able to start going through that process now and learning about it, it's gonna be much easier to make those hard decisions once you're in the operational Air Force. Culture is a hard thing to change, especially within one or two years. Um, I think we're definitely in a better direction than we were two years ago, especially having so many cadets uh, not only involved in the system through um, our group officers and our squadron officers, but also having so many cadets who have gone through remediation um, has been really helpful in not only like instilling a culture which values honor, but people who are really familiar what it's like to have their integrity challenged and, and overcome that challenge. The honor system has seen a big positive change in terms of culture. Um, and this is especially coming after the superintendent kind of made it a very strong priority on his list of what he wanted to fix. Uh, so I think what we're looking forward to in the future is continuing to work with the Association of Graduates to see what changes we can continue to make and continue to improve upon to make it better for everyone involved and to keep producing leaders of character.